there are you welcome back to my fun day experiment where i am posting a video every single day for the month of january sharing business and lifestyle advice as well as some dance moves and out of comfort zone challenges my name is kristen lajeunesse and you are watching will travel for vegan food marketing edition will travel for will travel for me A few weeks ago, Laura, you wrote that my biggest challenge is staying focused, motivated, and positive when left to my own devices. Laura, that is a mighty fine question, mostly because I think everyone experiences that as well, and I am happy to provide some resources to help you out. The timing of this question is quite perfect, too, because I just stumbled upon a really great article on fizzle.co that addresses a very similar issue, and so I pulled some resources from that post to share them with you today. One of the biggest roadblocks to staying focused and motivated is overbooking our days and weeks. If you're like me, you can unrealistically set expectations to get way more done in a single day than you actually can do. It may be easy to get started and you feel motivated from the outset, but what really takes the most focus and motivation is completing the task. So when we look at our to-do list and we see everything there, it is so easy to get distracted and in reality, we're creating resistance. We are allowing that resistance to come in because we just either don't want to do the work or we're feeling too overwhelmed to even get started. What happens when you start feeling a lack of focus and then a lack of motivation and ultimately the positivity of your daily tasks goes down as well? Well, it turns out that one feeds on the other. As soon as we get through our day or even a few tasks, and if we've skipped a couple or we don't complete all of them on our schedule, we feel like crap. Because let's be honest, when you're not crossing off all of those things, we have to move them to another day or later in the month, and it feels so heavy to not get everything done. Author Brian Tracy says, you should be doing your most important tasks for the day first thing in the morning. Instead of starting your to-do list with 10 to 20 tasks that you'll get done, why not plan out your day by choosing just one thing to create and complete today? Then, after you've finished it, sit down and make the huge list of tasks for the rest of the day. Now, if you're more of a night person or you do better work early in the morning or in midday, that's totally cool. Use that block of time to schedule the most important task that you have saying, wait a second, Kristen, every task that I have every day needs to get done and is equally important. It's okay, I get it, I feel your pain. But of those tasks, break them down and take a look. Which one of those are most going to immediately benefit either your business or the business that you're working for? If you're an entrepreneur, ask yourself, which of these tasks is the most important to build my audience, grow brand recognition, and close those sales? Now, how can you make sure that you actually get these tasks done? For starters, I recommend checking out the video that I posted last week on time management. I think you'll find a few useful tips in there. But if that's not your style, I've got a couple of other resources for you from that fizzle.co article. Number one, treat this as sacred time. Hand your phone off to someone else, shut off the internet, get off your computer, put any other distractions aside and work on that one task. Now, if you're like me and you work on your computer too, there are some tools out there to actually disable certain pages like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Number two, create just one of those tasks at a time. If possible, break it down each day, one big task per day. This will enable you to stay uber focused and fully concentrated in that one task. And let's be real, part of the reason that we all struggle with staying motivated and positive is because we have so many things on our plate and it's easy to get distracted. So if we shut everything out and focus on that one task and put all of our creative energy into that one thing, chances are much higher that you're gonna have no problem getting it done. After doing this a few times, you'll get into the rhythm and you'll have a much better idea of how much time you should block off, say two hours a day or maybe five hours, and then you can schedule all of your other tasks around that. Well, Laura, thank you so much for asking that question. I hope that this video helped. If you out there liked this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to head on over to wtfveganfood.com to sign up for email updates so that you don't miss a single one of these videos. And remember, don't be afraid to give yourself permission to become an intentional creator of your own life. Thanks again for watching and I will see you tomorrow where it once again will be the Will Travel for Vegan Food marketing series. Over and out. I just almost knocked my computer off the desk doing that. It's my sweet ritual t-shirt.
from a sweet ritual. It's a vegan ice cream shop in Austin, Texas. You should go check it out. I wanna know what your name is.